Stillwater Pioneer is on Friday. Got Stillwater coming to kick town for a uh, for a big district game. And that's always a tough game, and they've kind of held the upper hand here in recent years. Maybe get it turned around this year. They they have certainly had the upper hand uh, 14 in a row, and uh, somewhat unexplainable at times uh, in that series. But uh, they've they've certainly found a way to get it done. You know the spirit of your team this week. It seems like in practice they're pretty fired up, and I'm sure it's a game they're really looking forward to playing. I think so. You know our our kids have. Uh, have lost two in a row tough ones and uh, have played uh, you know pretty well honestly in those two ball games but uh, uh, we're just ready to go back to work and and get out on the field Friday night and try and be better. The Wasso game last week you know that a lot of good things happened in that game they just happened to come out on top in the end. They did you know we, we made a couple mistakes in the kicking game and uh, it opened the door for them and and you can't do that in a tight ball game. Uh, you know, it's uh, there's more in us and there's more there. We've got to we've got to execute better and we've got to got to play a little better. And that was 0 and 1 in the district for after that loss, and then get the win at still against Stillwater on Friday, back to 1 and 1 in the league, and then set yourself up for the rest of the season. Would would certainly like to do that. It's a it's certainly a big ball game as. Uh, as you well know, and uh, you know, it's not saying that it's the end of the world if that doesn't happen, but uh, uh, we would certainly like to come out victorious uh, this Friday night.